I went to a junkyard today and I decided I'm not a big fan of the way these headlights cloud over over time because they're made out of plastic instead of glass like my blazer headlights were so I got these guys instead from 88 and 89 Silverados and Sierras of course yeah they only made them with sealed beam headlights for two years 88 and 89 everything else from 90 all the way up to 99 and 2000 for the ones who actually got the old body style for 2000 got these composite headlights and uh, LMC truck sells composite housings for these that I'm eventually going to pick up because they use the same bulbs as these composite ones these guys on the other hand are sealed beam so thankfully right now they all work but I'm gonna give this sucker a new look on the front end see if I like it ah, naked front end hey buddy what you doing Well, I'm liking the way this looks. <laughs> the headlights are kind of sunk in. You can't really see them very well from the side, but this is the best part. Got the brights on right now, obviously. When I get these in here permanently, I'm going to be doing the quad headlight beam mod where the low beams stay on with the high beams, but I haven't quite got the harness set up for that yet. Right now, these are just in here permanently. In fact, <laughs> I don't even have the grill tightened down or anything really. I like the way it looks though. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have anything tightened down right now. This little uh, bolt on the edge here kind of catches the edge of the headlight, but I think that's just the way the grill is designed. I got my lights turned off, so... Oh! That's something else I did. <laughs> this little module here is the chime unit. And it's the thing that makes the beeping noises when you leave your headlights on or you open a door with the key in, in, in the ignition. Well, that would be true on a stock truck, but this little guy here has three wires and I took out one of them to disable the beeper when the key is in the ignition, but the door is open. Because I work in this thing with the radio running and the door open all the time, so yeah. Not very nice, but anyway, that one is just a solid tone and is what comes stock with these trucks. I grabbed a module out of a 94 Camaro and it looks like this. There's your part number. At least I guess that's a part number. I'm not entirely certain. But it's a little different. But it's got the same pin out and it sounds different. It's got a beeper instead of a chime or a solid tone. And I just like that a lot better than just solid tone. So yeah, anyway, I gotta pull the grill back off again. <clears throat> Actually, you know, I might just leave everything as it is for right now and just drive it. I'm going to be ordering the composite headlight housings on lmctruck.com eventually and getting them put in but it's just a straight drop-in replacement all I got to do is re uh, pull these t15 torque screws out of the uh, case and then the bulbs just come right out so that's easy and then installation is reverse of removal now I am going to have to pull the grill off eventually anyway because right now I kind of just have the ends of the wiring stuck into the bulb housings for these guys. So 
Like, okay, let me pull this out again here. My LEDs. And you. And this is also going to be a how-to of getting your grill off. Because I know a lot of people don't know how to do it and they end up breaking it. So. On the 96 and up at least, I don't know if the earlier models are the same. You've got a 7 millimeter bolt here. You've got one there. You've got one there. And you've got one there. That's all. Well, no, no, no. That's not all. There's also one here usually, but mine, I guess I just never put it back. That's all of the seven millimeter bolts holding the grill on. However, there are also these little clips in here that you have to pull. This one, you just pull up on this right here and it releases the grill. That's your tab. There's also one on this side, which is currently hiding behind the housing. You, get down. Come on, let it go. Okay, got that one loose. Oh, this is why it's so difficult. There we go. Now, the one that's a real pain in the butt is that one down there because there is no quick release tab for it. You gotta get in there with a screwdriver. And I've got this long bladed flat blade just for that. Thankfully I have skinny arms so I kinda fit in here. And I gotta get under this tab and over that tab and then just kinda work it off. And that worked out pretty well. And then you just pull loose. And that's it. Nope. Oh, no, that's not it. Because I forgot to pull the marker lamp for this side. There. Now that's it. And the grill just comes off without breaking anything. So that's great. <laughs> Buddy's after something over here. <laughs> yeah. So right now, I just kind of have the wiring stuck into the bulb cases and the uh, uh, electrical tape together. I am going to get composite housings and then it's not going to be like that anymore. I'm going to pull this thing off because I don't use it since I put the electric fans in. It's kind of useless. It's just sitting there. In fact, I snipped off the wiring to it. <laughs> And the same thing on this side. It's just kind of hanging out down here. It'll work for the time being. So, yeah. I'm going to put this thing back together and that'll be it for tonight. So today I'm doing something a little different with these guys. Alright, now I've got the retainers off. So the bulbs are kind of just free floating in here right now. On all of them. Unfortunately, apparently to get the low beams out, it's really difficult to do unless you pull the grill loose again, so it's loose again. And this piece here just finally broke off, so I'm thinking I might just leave it off. Oh well, it was bound to happen eventually, right? But I've got the retainers in the backyard right now. Because they're about to get shot in blue that's kind of sort of matches my truck so yeah good stuff right now well I was in the process of sanding these guys down so they're not black painted anymore so I can just spray them up right now probably ah. prefer to do that with my right hand because I'm right-handed and we'll just go yeah just like that let her dry this is quick dry paint 
takes about 10 minutes to dry give them a little bit longer to handle I'm probably going to put multiple coats on because it didn't get fully covered just now I got most of the heads up in the inside the wood so yeah we're gonna figure it out I think it's gonna look pretty good once I get them all done get these all sanded down and done Unfortunately, that's the only slice of sandpaper I actually have, so it may not even be enough. <laughs> Should have thought about that when I went to buy the paint. Of course. Oh, well. We'll see what happens. See how it looks. Okay, so here's what we got. Looking pretty good. Actually, you know what? They look like crap. But you know what? I'm not a professional painter, so what you see is what you get. <laughs> pretty much is where I'm going with that but I'm gonna go get them on the truck real quick and see what they look like because I know they're not gonna match the paint on the truck perfectly because this isn't color matching paint at all but it should be pretty close and the fact that they are sunk into the headlight housings means it shouldn't be too noticeable if it is different even if only slightly in fact the closer it is even the less it'll show so let's stop talking and go do it Oh yeah, I like it. Now, unfortunately, the spray paint is quite a bit lighter blue than the surrounding truck. But, like I said, with it being so far sunk in there, I mean, yeah, I guess it's noticeable if you really look at it. But, you know, what I might do is, like, I'll have these out in this light blue here, and then I'll shoot these other ones, the brackets in dark blue. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of doing it. Yeah, the br bright... I've got my seat rails done in dark blue. But you can't see them because they're all up underneath the seats and everything. So, it's kind of a pointless endeavor for me to even try to show that. But yeah! Shush. I kind of like that my truck is wired weird. Yeah, you're not going to see the difference while the truck's rolling down the highway, that's for sure. <laughs> so, yeah. That's what I'm going with for right now. I think I might go ahead and order the LMC replacement housings online here tonight. And then put them in so I can just put my regular 9006 and 9005 bulbs in instead of these sealed beam headlights. Guide halogens and Phillips halogens. It's interesting. There's Phillips on this side and there's guides on this side. I really don't know why that truck was set up the way it was, but it was. So That's what I got and that's what I'm going with. So, we'll see what happens next time.